So hello family and good morning. Yes, I call you guys family because we are tied together <laughs> in this crazy situation that we call world. Um, family doesn't always have to be blood. It can be relations, connections. Well, today I'm trying to tell you an update and to keep you uplifted and moving forward because we need those of you to move forward. Um, as you've seen within the last video, I posted my truth about the violence that they tried to conduct against you to take you out your element. But I'm here to tell you that by me posting my truth, I'm trying to let the world know that this is actually happening to people. People get harassed for speaking up and speaking against wrong for doing. Um, I know a lot of time I reference to... Martin Luther King, the only reason I reference to Martin Luther King a lot because he is a public figure that pretty much everybody knows who that person is without having to do research. So it was brought to my attention. I was watching a story where it stated that um, Martin Luther King was arrested, falsely arrested. This was their ways to stop him from reaching out to community to turn over segregation in order to stop the civil rights movement that he was arrested and they said because he was driving in the car i think they stated after hours where they had a limit on it's called black coats where they had set black people free but then implemented a whole set of rules that still kept them isolated, that still kept them enslaved, okay? So they stated that he was arrested because he was out after cold called loitering. He was probably, the curfew was like 10 o'clock and he probably was out at 10.30, so he got arrested. But guess what? They said almost six months for something like that. So this program has been around longer than we expected but i'm here to tell you that we're going to be around as long as we expected meaning we got to expect ourselves to live life so as long as you expect yourself to live life you will live life you will live life i went to an, an event currently and in the back of my head i kept saying i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go i don't want to go i don't want to go i don't feel like dealing with these people i don't feel like being harassed i'm not gonna go but then back in my head i kept saying go you have did nothing wrong, so why do you have to be isolated and in prison in your own freedom? You get it? So I went anyways, and the moral of the story is to tell you to keep pushing. I know most people can tell you what to do when the prayer has worked, but I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing while the prayer hasn't worked yet. The key word is yet, but a change is going to come. It's going to bring me emotion to speak about this. I know a lot of times all you hear is testimonies about people saying, Oh, God is good because he did this, he did this. But what about the times when they're going through? How do you deal? So I'm here to tell you today, this is how you deal. You keep praying because praying is your weapon that's going to keep you pushing against the odds. You keep praying. Praying is the same word as saying you keep fighting. When somebody say, oh, I feel like giving up and somebody say keep fighting, they technically mean keep praying. And so don't give up. Be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Encourage yourself. Look in the mirror. If you got to write down sticky notes and saying, today I'm walking my head up, do baby steps. Because it took me to get to the point of walking my head up because these people made you feel guilty for something you didn't do. Made you feel like, why me? It's still sometimes I wake up. You hear it in my voice. I'm getting emotional, but I'm going to pull it together because I refuse to cry another cry. It's going to be some times when you wake up and you may look at the ceiling or lay there in the dark and say, wow, I can't believe this is happening to me. You'd be like, Lord, I was a good person. I am a good person. I pay my bills. I, I, you know, I talk to people. I pray for people. I encourage people. Lord, you might ask why, you know, but it just said, don't never question it. Just believe that there's going to be an outcome. Your pain is what's going to make you a stronger individual. So I'm here to tell you, yes. It's a struggle. Prayer does not work overnight, but eventually it will. And in the will that you will have and the outcome is going to make you a better person and your blessings is going to come. You're battling this for a reason, for a reason. We don't know what that reason is, but be patient. Wait in silence. Be humble. They throw in these tactics, ask you to throw you off your element to say, see, Lord, I don't know why you want on your team. 
she quick to um, create vengeance against those that are against her. But vengeance is not the answer. Every time I feel distrayed and my mind goes into that mode of I'm going to get that person. Scott sends me some subliminal messages. I know y'all probably like, oh, she's reaching, but I'm going to reach and let y'all know how I'm reaching. So I was watching one of the Avenger movies, you know, the Marvel characters. And in this movie, it's the Black Panther, not the Civil Rights Black Panther, y'all. The Marvel character, the Black Panther. Okay, he was in the, I think it's called, um, oh my God, it was the movie before the Black Panther movie came out, but it's with all, all of the Avengers are in there together, all the characters, okay? So, there was a man in the movie who killed the Black Panther's father, and then Black Panther was like, oh, I'm about to get him, and all of a sudden, the Black Panther seen the dude, dude, I'm sorry, I talk funny, the guy that had killed him sitting on the rock vent into himself because he was angry because his father and family got killed so he started taking it out on everybody else so the black panther was like i'm tired of people using vengeance to create emotion he said i will not be in that same pattern of using my vengeance it ends today so to me that was a message of him saying like yeah this man over here killed your family due to the fact that he was hurting and he was cast upon him to create vengeance and then the black panther guy said i will not keep hurting each other and killing each other because of vengeance it stops today and he said what would you do he said i'll keep fighting and he ran off i said "Woo, that was deep it it, it maybe came to some of y'all like just a a, a line in a movie but to me it touched me there's a lot of movies even within um a wrinkle in time oh my god the wrinkle in time have so many subliminal messages you guys the wrinkle in time i believe is a spiritual thing okay because it was one of the things where the girl said i'm lost how will i find my way and then oprah winfrey is one of the I don't know what they're called in Wrinkle Time, the spiritual char character, I don't know. Um, and she tells the girl, how would you find your way? You trust in your you trust in your God or something like that to guide you. I said, Whoo, she better stop playing. It is she didn't they don't use the word God because they use like um subliminals, but in my mind mentality, mental mentality, that's how I took it. She said you have the faith and you trust your God to guide you. I don't quote any other words, but in that reference, that's what she stated. So I'm here to tell you that I can speak the truth with you and say, you know what? Prayer is working yet, Lord. <laughs> Meaning that it hasn't changed my situation, but it changed me. That part is working. That part is working. Prayer changed me to gave me the strength to say you were going to beat this. Prayer gave me the strength to say, I dare you sit at home and cry and weep. Prayer has changed me. It haven't changed my situation, but it changed me so that I can have control over my situation. So you please do the same thing. Okay, because I'm let me tell you a testimony that I'm be done with this because you know I like to talk. I'm not gonna keep talking. So yesterday I went to go pay my rent, you guys. Yes, I'm renting. And I get to there and I said, Oh, that other total is this. So I swiped my car and I go, it said decline. I said, Lies, why is it decline? I'm usually good with that. So I said, I'm going to step aside, ma'am, and let me go ahead and call or check my balance. Because, you know, I got the little, you can just text and it give you the balance. Okay, so I get there. It was like, I think it was like $2. My total came up $2 more than what I had. I didn't even know. I overspent, you know, going out. That's why you don't go out, stay in the house, laugh out loud. So I go back, but I have money in my wallet. God is good. So I go get back in line. I said, I'm sorry, it was just over, but do this on the car and I'm going to split the transaction up. <clears throat> and I'm always apologetic for messing people's time. I don't know why. I'm always a a over apologetic, okay? So then I go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but yeah, I please just do two, two transactions. Then the lady said, What you sorry for? I said, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know. And she was like, Once again, what are you sorry for? There's people that got to do like three or four transactions. It's okay. But you know what? I said, What? She said, But God is good. I said, What? What did you say? She said, God is good that you have the money to split up just to pay your bills. So what are you apologizing for? I said, don't do that. She said, what? I said, don't do that. You're going to have me crying in the store. <laughs> <coughs> so that's what I'm saying. 
God put you in situations for a reason. Maybe God said, I'm going to put you in a situation to remind you that I am good. So that's what I'm trying to tell you with more of that story. You never know who is uh, connected to God and who is not. So you have to not just be stressed out and take it out on everybody and think everybody's against you. Because some people find the same battle you are, but some people know how to hide it better than us. Some people don't know how to hang better than we do. So some people will create vengeance against you and you did nothing wrong. So that's the moral of the story. God is good. And all the time, God will continue to be good. Just keep the faith. I'm done. I hope this encouraged you to smile today. I hope this encouraged you to put your courage hats on, courage draws, courage socks, whatever you want to call it. Love you guys. And I appreciate all the comments and advice that you give me because you guys keep me pushing through and helping me vent and you venting. Please continue to vent to me and I'll vent to you and give me words and encouragement and knowledge to keep going.